yes good morning students good morning sir good morning good morning sorry for the Shall I start? So, okay. Sir. Yes, I will share my screen. Okay. Yes, no PDF is visible. Yes, sir. sir. Visible, sir. Okay. <clears throat> yes, last class. Now we solved this problem. We not completely solved this problem, right? A three point six meter long shaft. A carries three pulleys, two at its two ends, and the third at the middle point. The two end pulley have masses seventy nine kg and forty kg with their radii three mm and five mm from axis of shaft respectively. The middle pulley has a mass of 50 kg with radius 8 mm. Right now, MA means uh, for a take a shaft or the shaft, a, three pulleys are mounted. Two at the end end of the shaft, one is at the middle of the shaft. Right, and these masses of the pulley is given. I can call as on left side pulley A, pulley B, and pulley C. M A, M B, M C is given at the same time. R A, R B, R C is also given. The radius of rotation also given. <clears throat> the pulley are so keyed to the shaft that the assembly is in static balance. That is a very important term. It is <clears throat> the pulley are so keyed to the shaft that the assembly is in static balance. It means. So the shaft is mounted on over the three pulleys. Due to those pulleys, whatever the shaft is mounted, the pulleys are mounted over the shaft. That is in static balance. Means vector sum of all the force equal to zero. Again, if you draw a force polygon for those three pulleys, whatever the force which are generated, okay, due to a uh, the shaft is under expansion or under uniform motion, it is a static balance. Okay. If you draw the force polygon for those three pulleys, we will get a closed force polygon that already we discussed in the last class also. Now the shaft rotates at 300 rpm in two bearings. The shaft rotates at 300 rpm in two bearings, 2.4 meter apart. Now again consider the shaft from the center of the shaft. You can see that on each side, 2.4 meter divided by 2, 1.2 meter, 1.2 meter. A bearing is attached. The bearing is nothing but it is a supporting element. It gives a support to any rotating component. Okay, the two point meter apart with the equal overhangs on their side. Now determine relative angular positions of pulleys and dynamic reactions on the bearing. Dynamic reaction is nothing but dynamic forces, right? Yeah. Now based on the given problem. Now this is the space diagram. In that, first one is figure A, plane position of rotating masses. Now consider a shaft is given 3.6 meter length. On the each end of the shaft, the two pulleys are mounted. At the center of the shaft, another pulley is mounted. Our corners on the left side is left pulley A. This is pulley B, and middle pulley it is C. Again, the two bearings are attached. 2.4 meters apart from the center of the shaft, it is from the center. It is how much here? 1.2 meter, 1.2 meter. Now first write the space diagram for the given, uh, the for the given problem, the statement of the problem. 
at the same time now in this problem compare this problem with the previous problem the angular position is not given right and then how do you calculate the angular position now i'll take a is the uh, the plane a means the mass ma the pulley a contained here the mass uh, whole mass of the pulley is occurred at the plane a that is i'll take any any masses you consider either a b c any one pulley you consider that is located in horizontal location means along the x axis draw x and y axis the intersection is called as o draw along the x axis any mass you consider here i consider i'll assume here ma is located along the x axis means ma r a we know that theta a value becomes zero zero degree now with respect to mass a we'll go for assume here we'll go for located here theta p mb and mc with respect to horizontal x axis it is theta b and theta c this is we roughly you drawn here not actual value of theta b theta c once you go for draw a force polygon and couple polygon then we'll get the value of theta b and theta c this is the angular position of rotating masses right now first whenever you read the problem first better first to write the given datas ma mb mc is given ra rb rc is given the speed is given 300 rpm now what is our aim is to calculate angular position of the each masses theta b theta c on to determine and dynamic reaction means dynamic forces from this speed we calculate angular velocity of the shaft we know the angular velocity of the shaft is 2 pi n by 60 in substitute n value 300 will get 31.416 radians per second <clears throat> now what is the condition is given the condition is the pulley are so keyed to the shaft that the assembly is in static balance now again in this space in the la in the last class we missed this one bearing also you consider that is a plane l and plane m in the bearing i want to make it balance the counter masses are attached here in the last class we missed this topic i didn't told that this one so make it correction in the bearing l and bearing m we called as the two bearings the bearing l and another one is bearing m in the bearing the mass of the counter mass is rotated as a ml at a radius of rotation is called as r suffix l and another bearing m the counter mass of the bearing in the counter mass in the plane m it is m suffix m and radius of rotation of the counter mass is r suffix m in the m plane now you also consider these two plane also in last class we will not consider here make it correction after that according to the arrangement here a l c m b those are already completed again write the one more table here make it correction that is a planes write the first a table column planes mass in kg radius of rotation meter theta in degree centripetal force by omega square that is m into r distance from reference plane and couple divided by omega square that is m into r into l in kg meter square now write the the whatever the plane position is there a l c m b in last class we will not represent this l and m you should consider this uh, reference uh, sorry this is a bearing planes l and m make it corrections now write according to that a l c m b okay now here two planes are there again two masses uh, counter masses are there that are located in, on the plane l another one is on on uh, plane m so make it corrections i think hope you are understanding yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay thank you guys after that now we fill the table before going to uh, taking reference plane first we go for fill the table ma is given ml is unknown mc is 50 mm is unknown and mb is 40 kg similarly write the radius of rotation rl and again rm are unknown again theta at the first mass is located on x axis that is theta a is 0 degree theta l theta c theta m theta b are unknowns the centripetal force is multiply the second and third column m into r 79 into 0.003 will get 0.237 ml rl is unknown 50 into 0.008 will get 0.4 mm rm again unknown then 40 into 
that is you get 0.2 okay so now after completion of this fifth column centrifugal force by omega square now how do you fill the sixth column distance from reference plane now in the last class we made a mistake we consider only three masses a c b that's become a wrong that is not a wrong but we have to draw the static force uh, static balancing it is right but when you go for dynamic balancing it is not possible right for that we have to consider plane l and plane m that is plane l is the bearing one side bearing l the bearing between a and c pulleys another bearing m that is between c and m right now here two bearings two con planes are there con yeah counter planes and two counter masses are there those two masses are unknown then how do you select the reference plane remember that note when two unknown masses are there then you consider any one mass plane as a reference plane here you can consider l is the reference plane or m is the reference plane any one you can consider for this problem i'll consider reference plane as l see the reference plane as l i consider here now the plane which are towards the right side the planes which are towards the right side of the reference plane those are positive plane the planes which are left side of the reference plane those are negative plane right now make it correction again one more time i'm telling the make it correction compared to previous classes what we studied to this class okay so if you consider reference plane as a l what is the distance from reference plane here at that point is zero now from l to from l to a how to calculate what is the distance from from reference plane to a so totally here from a to here 1.8 from a to c 1.8 meter l to c how much total 2.4 divided by 2 1.2 1.8 meter minus 1.2 meter how much you get the distance between l and a will get 0.6 meter 0.6 meter again the plane a will come left side of the reference plane that is a negative sign minus 0.6 is it right yes are you following or not yes sir following sir okay thank you next after that again distance from reference plane to c distance from reference plane to the c plane the masses rotating in the same plane that is how much l to m it is 2.4 divided by 2 we get 1.2 it is a it comes here right side of the reference plane that is plus 1.2 meter see the plus 1.2 meter now after that after that next one again mm mm is how much the distance from reference plane l to m is given 2.4 meters given again it comes right side of the reference plane that is plus 2.4 then from reference plane l to b from reference plane l to b how much here 2.4 plus m to b already we calculated l to l also same is a 0.6 2.4 plus 0.6. Now we'll get 3 meter. 3 meter. That comes also right side of the reference plane. Then you go for multiply the fifth column and the sixth column. M into R into L. 0.237 into minus 0.6. That will get minus 0.1422. Next one is zero. Second one, if multiply 0.4 into 1.2, we'll get 0.48. Next two point four mm rm. Next point two into three you get point six, right? Now once you complete the table, now which one you go for draw? Is the force polygon or couple polygon? Yes. Force poly. Force polygon. Why do you go for draw the force polygon first? See here, couple polygon only one. Yeah, unknown is M M R M M is a direct to go for couple polygon. Suppose if you go for couple polygon, if you draw, I don't know angular position. Theta A only we know that theta L, theta C, theta M, theta B are unknown. If you draw couple polygon, it is impossible to complete. First, we'll go for draw force polygon, but the condition is given. See the condition. What is the first condition? The pulley are so keyed to the shaft that the assembly is in static balance. So first, we should draw the force polygon for the three pulleys to get theta C and theta B. Now see here, 
if you want to make it a a balance first condition is given it is a static balance means i want to draw only the by considering these three pulleys pulley a pulley c and pulley b right by considering only these three pulleys or that is mounted over the shaft it is static balance right now if you draw the first polygon for only these three pulleys theta c theta b you can easily calculate because this magnitude are already known 0.237 0 0.4 0 0.2 is already magnitude is known then i want to calculate theta c and theta b yes any doubt now that is the condition then you draw the first polygon here okay now how do you draw the first polygon by considering only those three pulleys by taking see the scale what is the values are 0 0.237 0 0.4 0 0.2 now what is the scale you are going to choose here 0 0.1 kg meter is equal to 1 cm i think it is visible see that point scale is 0 0.1 kg meter is equal to yes sir visible sir 1 cm i have written in pencil okay now take the scale now we'll go for draw the force polygon see the how to draw the force polygon yeah first draw a x axis y axis the intersection of x and y axis line it is o from the point o what is the first one what is the first mass here it is 0.237 orientation is 0 degree is a plus value is there orientation 0 degree now we'll go for a draw i think it is visible from intersection of x and y axis draw a, a zero degree line along the zero degree line how much you are going to measure here 0.237 kg that cannot into sir sir solve for zoom madi sir okay yeah. we need both the values and uh, this one okay i'll take the note yeah okay now yeah now we'll go for draw from an intersection of x axis and y axis that is point o so what is the mara mara is how much you got 0.237 kg meter now convert 0.237 okay divided by 0.1 what will how much how much centimeter will get here 2.37 centimeter first draw a zero degree line right along the zero degree line from point o right how much you going to measure here how much you are going to measure yes anyone can repeat this how much you are going to measure 2.236 that is equal to not into scale part 1 kg meter is equal to 1 centimeter then 0.237 kg meter is equal to 0.237 divided by 0.1 now we will get 2.37 this 2.37 centimeter or approximately 2.37 you can't measure on the scale linear scale right because the least point of the scale how much here 1 mm the better you go for take 2.4 centimeter i think you are following right because our linear scale what is the least yes sir following sir least count of the scale is 1 mm 2.37 you can't measure then you go for round of it to 2. Point Four centimeter. Yes. Any doubt regarding this? No, sir. Okay. After that, next one. Next, what is the next uh, mass? Is there C mass, right? The plane C. For plane C, MCRC how much? 0.4 kg meter, right? Now convert into scale. 0.4 divided by 0.1 will get four centimeter. Again, from the point A. Now, what is the angle is known? Angle is theta C is unknown. Again, through the compass, take four centimeter is radius. A is the center, and then I draw an arc. I don't know where it is. Then draw an arc. What is the radius of this arc? What is the radius of this arc? Yes, tell me, ma'am. Anyone you can unmute yourself and tell me that. What is the radius of this arc? Is four centimeter. Centimeter. Right. After that, what is the next pulley is there? Yes, pulley B. 
what is the mbrb what its magnitude is 0.2 kg meter 0.2 kg meter divided by 0.1 you will get 2 cm right so take to the compass take radius is 2 cm but it should be a closed force polygon right it is statically balanced means it should be closed force polygon then take o is a center and draw an arc a draw an arc okay o is a center then draw an arc what is the radius of this 2 cm 2 cm then intersection of the arc radius 4 cm intersection of the arc 2 cm the intersection point will called as point b then join ab and bo is there any doubt regarding this if you have doubt unmute yourself okay. and ask me that i will try to clarify your doubt no sir no okay yeah after this once you join ab and bo now what is ab ab shows what mc rc right what is ab shows here mc rc the magnitude of the line mc rc ab at the same time what is bo bo shows the magnitude of mb rb that already we know that right this already we know that but what is our aim our aim is to calculate angular position with respect to horizontal line see that theta c how much theta c with respect to horizontal line with respect to zero degree now we calculate how much you can see in the from the force polygon theta c is how much we will get go in the clockwise direction that is because all angles are measured in counter clockwise direction so 158 degree is it right again from the point b with respect to zero degree line measure theta b what is theta b how much you got here you can check here how much you got 311 degree means if you draw in zero degree line extend it now what is this angle here this is 180 and from here to here it is 131 degree if you have a 360 degree protractor you can directly measure 31 311 degree if you don't have 360 if you have usually we have 180 degree protractor so horizontal line shows what 0 to 0 degree to 180 degree this is 180 degree plus you we'll go for in counter clockwise this is 131 degree 180 plus 131 how much you got 311 degree yes any doubt regarding this sir once more sir yeah which which point you on ma'am uh, point b. b or point a point b sir yeah point b see that so once you get point b draw a zero degree line i want to measure from zero degree line to bo what is this angle in counter clockwise direction right how do you measure if you have a 360 degree protractor you can directly measure if you don't have 360 degree we have usually we have 180 degree right now from 0 yes. to 180 degree this is how much 180 degree 180 plus then measure this angle from 180 plus what is this angle you got again in the river in the protractor measure then this is a 131 degree will get am i right okay okay sir then 1 180 plus 131 you get 311 degree 311 degree degree yes any doubt regarding this no sir okay now once you calculate now move this values theta c is 158 degree and theta b is 311 degree to where to the table in pencil you should write here now in return here theta c how much 158 degree and theta b how much 311 degree right immediately we transfer to the table okay now this is this is up to we studied in the last class right Yes, sir. No. Now after this. Yes, sir. Yeah. After this, now first position over. First question over. What is that? Relative angular positions of pulleys. Theta b, theta a is zero degree with respect to a. Theta b is how much? Three eleven degree, right? And theta c how much? One fifty eight degree, right? The first question over. Determine the relative angular position of pulleys. Now, how do you calculate dynamic reactions? A dynamic forces on the bearing means 
then we go for draw a what type of we go for draw a couple polygon right for now we go for draw a couple polygon now we will go for use the last column in the table right last column in the table yes are you following or not yes sir following sir yes. thank you next we will go for draw a couple polygon again how do you choose a couple polygon how what is the scale you are going to choose here see the values in the last column 0 0.1422.48.6 now what is the scale you are going to choose here yes anyone can unmute yourself and tell me the answer 0 0.14 0 0.48.6 what is the scale you are going to choose here one is to one is not possible the reduced scale or enlarged scale? It's the enlarged scale, 0 0.14, 0 0.48, means 0 0.1 kg meter square is equal to 1 centimeter. See the in the first polygon also is in the first column, see the 0 0.23, 0 0.4, 0 0.2. You we'll go for reduced scale, 0 0.1 kg meter is equal to 1 centimeter we have chosen, right? Similarly, here also. 0 0.1422, 0 0.48, 0 0.6 is there. Then what is the scale? Reduced scale. 0 0.1 kg meters per is equal to 1 centimeter. See the scale in couple polygon. In couple polygon, what is the scale? Sorry for I written pencil here. 0 0.1 kg meters per is equal to 1 centimeter. Yes. Is it visible? Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Now, we'll go for draw the couple polygon. Okay, so now you keep that table with you because again, I will not go for move the cursor, but can, if you want to draw the couple polygon, I need that table. Okay, so I have a notes again here itself. I'll just read out here at the same time. If you already considered a table, keep with that notebook or in the A4 sheet. Okay, yeah, now, now which, which one will go for draw here first? The plane A, for plane A, right, we know the magnitude, right, how much it is, minus 0 0.1422, now convert it to scale, how much it is, 0 0.1422 divided by 0 0.1, we'll get 1.422 centimeter, or round off into 1.4 centimeter, right, yes, are you following or not, now what yes, is sir, the following, sir. Is 0 degree, right, First, you draw a, a first anywhere you can take in the A4 sheet, draw a x axis and y axis slide. This is for our convenient purpose. Okay. The intersection of x axis and y axis I'll represent as O dash here. Okay. After this, now see that draw a zero degree line. On both sides, you draw the zero degree line. Okay. Now, on which side it is negative sign is there? Negative sign means I want to draw the zero degree in negative x axis. Am I right? On negative x axis, you draw the zero degree. Along the zero degree line, how much you are going to measure here? Now, tell me what is O dash, A dash? 1.4. Yes, 1.422 centimeter. Again, it, we are using only linear scale. The least point of the scale is 1 mm, that is 1.4 centimeter. That is M A R A L A, right? After the next one, the reference plane L, the magnitude is zero. We can't consider this one. Go to next row, the C plane. For the C plane, what is the couple magnitude? M C R C L C. How much you have? How much you have? Zero, sir. Uh -huh. That is second one L plane L zero. Magnitude yes, is zero. Sir. Angle also we don't know. Leave it. Next go for third row. M C R C L C. What is the magnitude? Zero point four. Zero point four eight. Four eight. Zero point four eight kg meter square. Now convert into centimeter. You get four point eight centimeter. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. From the A dash. Okay, so 10 minutes more is there. Once it is session is ended, again rejoin the session. Okay. Yeah, from the point A dash, from the point A dash, 
Now, what is the orientation theta c? We calculated in the previous force polygon. How much it is? One fifty-eight degree. From the a dash measure theta c. Theta c how much? One fifty-eight degree. Along the once you draw the mark that one fifty-eight, then draw a one fifty-eight degree line. Along the one fifty-eight degree line, how much you are going to measure here? Four point eight. Eight centimeter. Yeah, once you uh, mark the four point eight centimeter along the one fifty eight degree, now we'll get B dash. Am I right? Yes. Sir, theta C and the one. Yeah, theta C. Theta C. One fifty eight. Theta C. Theta C. Couple, right? M C R C L C. Yes. Right? Any doubt? Shall I go to the next one? If you have doubts, you can right now itself clarify. Yes, sir. Okay. Now move on to the next row. What is the next row? M M R M L M. But in couple column, col couple column, you get two point four M M R M. M M R M is unknown. Right? Leave that one. Next, last row. It is what? M B R B L B. What is the magnitude? MB RB LB the magnitude is how much is give me response is not taken tab tablet column 0.6 yeah 0.6 kg meter square converted to scale how much you got 6 6, six cm what is the orientation the b is how much The three eleven degrees. Three eleven degree. Now, with respect to this horizontal line, zero degree line, measure okay. three eleven three. That is theta b. Theta b is how much? Three eleven degree. Three eleven degree. Is it right? Along the three three eleven degree line, what is this? How much you are going to measure here? Six centimeter. Then you will get point C dash. All right? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Now you can see the in couple polygon, couple column, all the data is over except two point four mm RM. Those are unknown, right? Let's give me response. In the couple column, last column in the table column. Point minus point one four two two over point four eight over point six four, which is unknown here. Two point four mm RM is unknown. Now that's why you get a, a open couple polygon here. Then go for join C dash, which is the starting point of the polygon here. O dash with a continuous O dash thick line. Join C dash O dash. Now what is the C dash O dash? What is the magnitude? You can see here mm RM. Lm that is equal to how much? Two point four mm Rm, right? Mm Rm. Is it right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now measure this from the couple polygon. From the couple polygon. Yeah. From the couple polygon. Now measure C dash O dash. How much you got C dash O dash? We'll get three point four centimeter. C dash O dash. How much you got? Three point four centimeter. Now multiply the scale. What is the scale? Centimeter. What is one centimeter is equal to point one kg meter square. Now multiply here the scale. This is the scale. One centimeter is equal to point one kg meter square. Now we'll get right hand side point three four kg meter square. What is the right side here? C dash O dash is now what? Mm RM LM. What is a? Uh, is two point four times of Mm RM. Now uh, finally we'll get Mm RM is equal to point one four two kg meter because uh, LM will will transfer to the right side. The me one meter one meter get cancelled. Finally Mm RM. Is a what is a centrifugal force? Mm RM at the bearing M. What is the force you will get? Centrifugal force you will get point one four two kg meter. Is yes, any doubt? Excuse me, sir. 
Now, sir, from your uh, C to O dash, yeah, it's uh, very very agu the sir one one mm or two mm oh, very agu the sir. Because it's a math, it's a graphical method. Plus or minus five percent error is acceptable. Yes, sir. You may get three point two or three point three point five, three point six also will get. Plus okay. or minus five percent error okay. is acceptable in graphical method because some manual error is there, instrumental error okay. is there. How much you got, ma'am? Okay. Yes, three point six has got. Sorry. Three point six. Three point yeah. six, sir. Okay, acceptable. Okay, sir. No, after this, after this, now we'll go for measure. With respect to this, from the C dash, draw a horizontal line, zero degree line. From the zero degree line, measure. What is this? T time. What is the T time? How much you got? Let's measure it. How much you got? Fifty-four degrees, sir. Sorry. Fifty-four. Fifty-four degree. Oh. Okay. Fifty-four degrees, sir. Yeah, I got fifty-five degree. Fifty-four is actually right. Yes, I got fifty-five degree. Is also acceptable. Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six degrees are also acceptable. Over. Now transfer this theta m to the tabular column. Transfer this theta m to the tabular column. That is theta m is how much? Fifty-five degree. Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Any doubt regarding this couple polygon? If you have doubt. You ask me. Then what about the arrow mark? That is important. Arrow mark in the last uh, first polygon also not shown. What what O dash to A dash is left side, right? Again, from A dash to I want to reach O dash. How do you move this? From A dash to O dash, we'll move like this. Or A dash to B dash. From B dash to C dash, we'll move like this. From C dash to O dash, we'll move like this. That is the arrow mark shows the direction of the couple is gener generated. Similarly, go for drawing force polygon also. In the previous one also, show the arrow mark. Over. Shall we move on to the next one? Okay, sir. Yeah. Now we got M M R M. We got the centripetal force generated by the plane M means bearing M. Then how do you get the centrifugal force, or how do you get the what is the which is unknown one more which is unknown here, one more is unknown that is M L R L T T L T T L yeah T T L M L R L is unknown. Then how do you get this one? How do you get this one? Already we draw the force polygon for three pulleys. Now, second one, we'll draw the couple polygon for all the planes we consider. Now we'll go for draw a force polygon by considering all the planes, all the masses. Okay. Earlier we consider only this one, this one, this one because the condition is given statically balanced by three pulleys. That's why we consider only three centripetal forces generated by the those pulleys. Now we'll go for draw centrifugal. Sorry, now we'll go for draw force polygon by considering all these. Masses, all the masses, all the planes you consider here. Okay, right? Again, we'll draw one more uh, force polygon. Less than one minute time is there. Okay. So we'll in the next session again we'll go for star. We'll go for draw the force polygon. Right? Yes. If you have doubts, you can clarify here. Another five minutes. I can uh, another two or uh, one or two minutes. You can rejoin the session. Okay. If you have doubts, you can ask me that. I'll try to clarify your doubts. Yes, no doubts. No sir. Okay, ma'am. So one session is ended. Again, you should rejoin the.